Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting us, thank you and welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. Yeah, well, Wednesday, I couldn't get that out then. Wednesday is finance day at the Cheapskates Club and in our home. It's the day of the week I do our family finances. I get out my bill folder and I update the various sheets. I check bank balances. Um, I check them against our ATM receipts. And then I check my spending notes against the receipts. I'm looking for discrepancies. I don't often find them, but sometimes I do. Wednesday is the day I transfer money into the various accounts, um, make sure the bill accounts are topped up and update our spending plan. I stop at the ATM in the morning and withdraw the cash I need for the next seven days. We work on a cash budget. Now, that sounds like a lot of work. But it's not really. It's about 15 minutes at my desk and it is done. Then I get to relax for another week. Now this year, I've tried to make Wednesday not only my do the books day, but my only spending day. It's the day I hit Aldi um, and the butcher, perhaps Coles and or Woolworths, depending on the specials. Um, I pick up the few groceries that we need to get through the week, things like um, cheese if we run out or milk, that sort of thing. I top the car up with fuel. If there's any good green grocery specials at the fruit market, I will go and get them. Changing the shopping day to Wednesday for this year, and there are a whole host of reasons I changed it from Thursday to Wednesday. You know, I go past Aldi Coles, all three service stations. It's the day of the week that I seem to have the most spare time this year. It's also a quieter day at the shop, are just a few of them. It's not a huge change for me, but I'm also challenging myself to make, make it the only day of the week that I spend any money. Only day of the week that I spend any money. So that means for the remaining six days, no spending. Absolutely no spending every week for a whole year. It means no picking up specials, no calling into the op shop to see what's new. Well, I can call in, but I can't buy anything. No online shopping, no morning tea or lunch out. Now, 2022 is three quarters of the way through, and so far, so good. I've only had a few times where I've wavered from that Wednesday shopping day. Now, I've just come in for my weekly banking and shopping expedition, and it actually feels really good. The fridge is restocked, the pantry's topped up. I put a little diesel in the car, and I use my discount to save four cents a litre. I did spend some of my mad money on fabric that I really, really wanted and I've been waiting on for months. I've been waiting for it to come on sale. It finally came on sale 50% off, so I saved myself $10 and I still have a little cash in my mad money to spend on something else later in the year if I can find something that I really want or need. Now, I make a note in my diary of things I may want to buy not the normal groceries, the medicines and so on, but the things like stationery or books, which are my weakness, clothes, um, fabric, craft supplies and so on. And when spending day comes around, if I don't buy them, I add it to the money I didn't spend list. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Now, of course, if it's something I really want, I'll use it or I need it and it's within our budget, you know, I may buy it. I may buy it. It's kind of like a version of the $100 24-hour rule, but supercharged. 
So who's up for a challenge? Who's going to join me for the rest of the year? You don't need to have six no spend days. Try one no spend day a week and see how much you haven't spent at the end of the year. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. You have subscribed, haven't you? Um, feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, start that comment with no shopping. So I know you've watched all the way to the end. Now that just helps me with my planning. I read every comment, every single comment. And I do my best to answer any questions you may have. I don't get a chance to reply to every comment, but I do read them all. Now, if you know someone who might like this video, please click that share button to send them the link. These three simple things, like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and be recognised so much more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very, very soon. Happy cheapskating, everyone. <laughs>